and hello i am athena pandian here welcome to the basics of biomedical classroom today we are going to start the new fresh unit that is fourth unit of the syllabus uh, the heading is uh, basics of vital parameter so in that particular unit we are going to see so many vital parameters that we are able to measure using the uh, different biomedical equipments in that particular thing we are going to discuss today is biosignals what is biosignals and what are all the biosignals acquired you know from the human body all the things you are going to discuss now come ready start the class Biosignals is the first topic of our uh, uh, basics of vital parameters in our syllabus. In that, there are so many biosignals we are going to discuss today. But now we are going to discuss what is biosignal first of all, and what path how we can able to measure and how we can able to measure that the thing we need to know first of all. So, bio and signals, the two terms. Of course, you know that the bio is the term indicates the living. Bio indicates living. Then signal. Signal is nothing but instruction given or instruction taken so instruction so what kind of instruction we are acquired from the living here we are totally discussed about the living human body so human body instruction any of the instruction that is given or any of the, any of the instruction that we gain it to taken out from the human body in the way of signals through the electrical or non electrical waves okay this is called as the bio signals there are so many bio signals that are generated in our human body we can able to acquire or we, if you want to uh, study about each and every organs of the human body this signals play a main vital role to determine the normal and abnormal condition of the human body human cell human cell having so many cell organelles of course and the most important thing is action potential and membrane potential because of the transportation attained by the ions present inside the cell and outside the cell that is sodium ion potassium ion calcium ion all the things they require some of the potential they make the potential difference um, along the among the membranes of each and every cell that is cell membranes of each and every cell that is called as the membrane potential because of that each and every ions acquire some of the action potential so it will happen in a single cell but the human body is cluster of cells so each and every organ is made up of cells so group of all these action potentials are considered as a electrical and non electrical signals bio signals mostly we are we are going to acquire the signals in the way of electrical that is electrical bio signals also the non electrical bio signals are also there but most of the signals acquired from the human body is in electrical so this electrical bio signals what is that what it refers to see this electrical bio signals is also called as the bioelectric time signals so this it is refers to the changes in the electric current please remember changes in the electric current that electric current is produced by the sum of potential differences acquired from the specialized cell or tissue or organs so we can able to acquire that particular potential difference we can able to summing all that particular potential differences we can able to understand the changes in the electric current through that particular changes in the electric current we can able to study the organs normality and abnormality of course there are so many bio signals we can able to acquire from the human body some of the most important bio signals are eeg electroencephalogram this electroencephalogram is a bioelectric signal we can able to study the electrical activity of the brain using this particular signal we can able to understand the normality and abnormal abnormal condition of the brain of the patients that is it shows the electrical activity of the brain okay then ecg of course you are all know that this ecg is nothing but electrocardiogram the cardio indicates the heart so the electrical activity of the heart can be studied using this signal that is ecg okay then eog o indicates oculo electrocardiogram that is we can able to study the eye electrical activity of the eye signals 
using this particular electroarculogram okay then erg erg is nothing but electroretinogram retina is a layer that is present in the eye if you want to study if you want to study the normal and abnormal range of that particular retinal signal we can able to acquire the electrical signal of retina that is called as the erg are electrical retinogram okay electroretinogram then emg emg is nothing but electromyogram the muscular activity the electrical muscular activity can be measured using this emg okay then egg electrogastrogram this electrogastrogram is the signal we can able to understand the gastrointestinal tract the electrical activity of the gastrointestinal tract we can able to acquire using egg that is electrogastrogram okay using these particular electrical signals we can able to understand the normal range and abnormal range of the particular organ because this particular thing shows that the brain the brain system that is central nervous system organ this particular thing shows that a cardiovascular system condition this particular thing shows you shows you the uh, condition of your ocular system that is eye system this particular thing also determine the detailed study of your particular region of the eye this particular thing shows you the mechanical activity of your muscles okay that is electrical activity of muscles then this particular thing explain the digestive system of this our human body so mostly all the human body organs can be understand using this particular electrical signals okay. using these particular bio signals there are so many problems will be rectified we can able to the doctors can easily understand the particular condition of the patient okay so hope you understand the introduction of this particular vital parameter uh, syllabus lesson so in the next class we are going to discuss about the most important bio signals in our human body that is ecg one of the most important so tomorrow we are going to study detailed study of what is ecg and what is the waveform indicates each and every uh, electrical signals indicates in the way of waveforms in that electrical electrocardiogram is what and what is the waveform and how the waveform is generated all the thing you are going to discuss tomorrow